Imperial College London medical student. Right, now that the YouTube keyword is out of the way, cue the intro. Hey everyone, my name's Devon, I'm a fourth year medical student at Imperial College London. Welcome to my channel. I make videos about student lifestyle, medicine and tech, and so if any of that interests you, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. So today's video is going to be a juicy one. I'm going to be talking about some things that they don't tell you about medical school. And these are some things that I know that if someone had told me, it would have made the decision to study medicine a lot easier. And also, it would have put me at ease before I went to university. There are so many negative stereotypes about medicine, and I feel that this was an important subject to cover, and therefore, uh, this is why I'm making this video. And for those of you that are already studying medicine, I'd love to hear your validation of this in the comments down below. And so with that said, let's jump straight into the video. It's not constantly work, work, work. So medicine gets the reputation that all we do is just work and there's nothing else that we do. It's just constantly just working. There's no work-life balance and you have no chill time. There's none of that at all. But I can say for a fact, this is not 100% true. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the workload is minor. You definitely have a lot of work. But I feel like if you allocate your time uh, like appropriately, and if you manage your time, and uh, fit in activities, and have a social life, it is really possible to have a work-life balance. Now, I'm only halfway through medical school, so I can definitely vouch for the earlier years. Um, now, I can't say anything about the later years, because I haven't experienced it yet. But I will update you on that. The next thing is that medicine isn't only a scientific subject, but also a people subject. Now I think that most of you guys would already know this, but I still felt that it was so important that I had to mention it. You can be really good at learning something, memorizing something, and regurgitating it in the exam, but when it comes to actually putting it into a clinical context, it's a lot more difficult and a lot more different than what you think. It's more than just the science. Having the knowledge is only a small part of the bigger picture. You need to make your patient comfortable, and that involves a lot more than just the knowledge. You need to dress appropriately, have respect for the patient, show emotions, uh, have appropriate body language, making your patient feel at ease. These are all things that contribute towards making a good doctor and for you to have a more holistic approach for the patient. You will develop this throughout medical school and it will come to you, but it is more than just science. And it's really, really crucial that you know this before you go into medical school. Uh, because it does change your opinion on on the way you see things By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video now's the time to drop a like and comment down below that you're loving this video It only takes you guys a few seconds But it tells YouTube that my viewers are enjoying the video and so it recommends it to more people and then more people can watch my videos um, also Your support on the the video I made about Imperial Truths is phenomenal. I'm on 63 likes as I'm making this video, which is absolutely mental. So do something like that, like this video, and let me know that you're loving it. Moving on. You don't have to know everything. If you're deciding to study medicine and you're getting worried that you have to have so much knowledge and you have to know everything, or if you're already studying medicine and you're getting frustrated and worried that something's not coming to you, don't get worried because it's it's medicine it's not it's not like a levels where you have a select syllabus that you have to get through it's medicine it's university and it's real life and in real life you can't know everything medicine is more than just you know university it's it's as they say it's a lifelong learning subject and that's not only cliche it's really really true you're going to keep learning for the rest of your life there's even like doctors the highest of highest doctors that don't know everything even they're constantly learning. So just don't worry that you know that you don't know everything because you never will, but you can always work to improve how much knowledge you already have. The next thing is that everyone's gonna go through a rough time at medical school at least once. If you're getting worried about something or frustrated that you don't understand something, you need to break it down and take it slowly and view things in a more optimistic manner because there will be times where you feel like you don't deserve to be there or someone better than you deserves to be there instead of you but that's certainly not the case. Everyone's gonna go through a rough time, it's just about whether they decide to show you or not, because you don't know what goes on behind people's closed doors or in their minds. And some people decide to, to tell you, some people keep it within themselves. And if you're one of those that keeps it within themselves, I would highly encourage you to speak to someone if you are struggling, or um, you know before you reach to that, that breaking point. And so it's really, really important that you seek help your medical school will support you and there will always be people that support you. As they say, there is light at the end of the tunnel and uh, statistically speaking at Imperial College in London, um, everyone goes through a crisis at least 1.6 times a year on average. The next thing is that your ideology of medicine will change throughout medical school. 
Now let me explain what I mean. So your preclinical years, which are years one to two, will be very different from your clinical years, which are years three to five or six, depending on your medical school. Um, in your preclinical years, it's going to be more about the science, the um, the fundamentals, the basics, and then you it's not really basics. You go into quite a lot of details, and it's more sciencey. But after year three, that's where your the doctory stuff starts. That's where you start going into sort of more medicine which is more about managing a patient or treatment or diagnosing a patient conditions things like that and what I'm trying to say is it's, it's quite different these these two segments of the, of the medical school just because you struggled in years one and two doesn't mean that you know you're not gonna be a good doctor because the main doctory stuff I feel the main important stuff um, comes later on and I'm not saying that the earlier years are futile they're certainly not um, but they're more scientific and obviously the science is needed to understand the disease process and how it affects your human body and also it works in the other way as well just because you did good in the early years doesn't mean that you're going to excel at the later years now a lot of people do and I know that but there are also exceptions where you know they, they get too cocky about the early years and then they fall behind in the later years so you need to always keep up to date and work really hard throughout the whole of the med school obviously with a with a work-life balance if it's possible and if if that's you but again it depends on the person really and so that brings the video to a close i hope you guys did enjoy and hopefully this is useful when you guys are deciding whether to study medicine or not and you take this into consideration make sure you drop a like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and even if you didn't make sure you let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it i would love to improve on the video sorry for the recent sort of delay in uploads it's because i started working but hopefully the um the upload frequency will go back to normal and so with that said i hope you guys have a good day i've been devify and i am out